Happy Saturday. It's day five of our June challenge. And I'm really thrilled we've got to day five because actually today is usually a tough day. Um, it's a Saturday, Sunday. Uh, if, like me, you actually up and doing this with me, then you'll find that most, be, most of the family are asleep in bed um, and your brain might just go, oh, I don't know whether I can be bothered today. But push through. When, it, when a chat, you do a challenge like this, most of the time it's actually your brain telling you, I don't want to do things, especially at a weekend. So if you can do it today and tomorrow on a Sunday, you are going to be smashing it, which I'm really thrilled about. Now, remember, day seven, it starts our week two and we're going to just progress everything we're doing. So this first week, you are getting yourself into the motion of doing the three exercises, 10 repetitions of each. But I'd love to know how you're doing. Are you all reaching the tens of everything? And are you on your basic or intermediate? You're just doing a little bit of a mix of the two. I'd love to know. Thanks to all of you who've been sending me comments, sending me little messages saying that you're doing it. And I'm hoping that you're starting to feel a little bit strong and more confident. It's confidence at the end of the day. So it's Saturday. Let's get started. I'm going to come back. Remember, if you're doing this on a hashtag replay, do the hashtag replay, comment below and we will get started now. Um, the first exercise, as you know, is going to be the lunges. If this is your first day and you haven't done this before, please go back, have a look at the demonstrations, have a look at the options of your levels, whether it's basic or intermediate, and then you can actually make sure you're doing this so that it works for you. Basic level, hands on your hips. We're going to be doing a lunge forwards and back. Now, a lunge can be just as much as done, which is a step, or you can take yourself down, make sure those knees go downwards rather than forwards. Alternating for 10 moves. For those of you that are more advanced, I'm going to do that with you. Hands at your sides of your head. We're going to be stepping forward 10 times on our right, 10 times on our left. Find your balance. Tummies are pulled in. Let's get started. So let's come forwards, down and up. Now remember, find that balance and find the position that works for you. If you need to do it shallower, to start yourself off, that's absolutely fine. But you get yourself warmed very quickly by going into these. This is four, tummies are pulled in, keeping those chests up, five, down, six, tummies are in, seven, down, eight, nine, last one, on this side, 10. Now, if that's your first, your basics you've done, then you can just keep marching those legs or take a moment and join back in with me. I'm going to do the left side. If you are doing the um, basic and you're doing alternating, you can now carry on with alternating and see how many more you can do whilst we're doing our left side. See how that goes, let me know. This is three. We're taking the other leg forward this time. This is four, tummies are in. Sometimes you might find one side is easier than the other. We're all slightly out of balance. This is six. Good. And you do it on carpet like me. It's a little bit wobbly at times. <laughs> this is coming up for eight. Good. Push back. Got two more. You've got this. Nine. And ten. Good. Press that up. I can feel my heart rate's gone up. I hope yours has too. Roll your shoulders. Tummies are pulled in, we're going to go into our sumo squats. Remember, hinging from those hips backwards. So remember, we're not going forward with those knees. Press those hips back. Check in the mirror if you need to for your technique. Feet are going to be five to one. Tummies are pulled in. Hands here for the basics. We're going to be going down, squeezing up. Remember, squeeze those glutes forwards at the top, activating through those big muscle groups. For the advanced, we're going to come from here to here, really squeezing in through those abdominals activating through our core. Ready? Five, six, off we go. So coming down and up. Now remember, you can go down as deep as you want. Two. Maybe you can feel the progression that you've made already with going down a little bit deeper. This is three. This is four. Squeeze. Five. Six. Press it back. Seven, really squeeze those glutes at the top. So squeeze it just here. This is coming up for nine. And our last one, 10. Now we're going to take it down. We're going to do some pulses. Join me for the pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Now, as I say, on day seven, we will be taking this up a little bit more. So hopefully you're really starting to feel that all your joints are starting to move a little bit better and you're getting some strength, which is good. Or you're doing the moves a bit deeper. Now we're going to go down to the floor. Again, any of you, this is probably the one area that a lot of people find difficult if you're not used to weight bearing through your arms. So remember, you can always go down on your elbows <clears throat> for the big basics. What you're going to do is you're going to take your knees, I'm just kind of forced it actually. So you're going to take your knees backwards until you're in a plank position, tummy supporting, making sure, just always keep adjusting your arms where they need to be. So you're going to be keeping them here and then you're going to be lifting one leg and then back down. So straightening out to keep that bottom down. This is just stabilizing through your pelvis and getting you, your, your core activated. Or you can go from your tiptoes and just drop your knees. So that's the, the first level. The second one, which is work which I'm going to show you and do with you, is going to the spider swipe. So coming up, cross and back. Let's do 10 of those. Five, six, off we go. So up, cross, back, up, cross, back, up, cross, back. Drive that knee, up, cross, back. Tummies are in. This is six. These go quite quickly. Seven. Tummies in. Eight. Push, push those hands. Nine. Last one. Yeah, knees down. Press back. So if you've done your, um, your basic one, you can actually be proud. Really stretch through those arms. We're going to do one more on the advanced. We're going to do either the jumping and out or the stepping and out. It's jumping for me today, but you can do the stepping out, out, in, in, or you can do the jumps. All right, let's keep going. Bottoms are down. Five, six, off we go. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Together, knees down. Press back, and you're done. That's a great start to the day. And I've added in from, from here, after I finish chatting with you, I do a little bit of extra something because I'm on a roll. So if you've got something that you enjoy doing, whether it's doing that, and doing that again twice through, then have a go at just extending that, going for a walk, if, whatever the thing is that you like doing. But it's a great first bit, boost your energy, each time I think I'm going to sound less breathy, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's really good at getting your whole body working. The cardio's up, metabolism's kicked in, and you're going to start the rest of the day with a really lovely, lighter head, lifted feeling in your body. Now, remember, hashtag replay, please comment, let me know how you're doing, especially now that we're at the weekend, because I want to know whether you're actually pushing through those feelings of can't be bothered or it just doesn't feel right. And uh, I really hope you're starting to feel the benefits. So have a brilliant rest of your day. I will be back here Sunday, 7.15. Join me if you can. But if you can't, do what you can. These challenges are all about just making it work for you and giving yourself a little bit of a lift and a boost physically and mentally as well, because it's the mental challenge just as much as the physical one that we have to get through. Have a brilliant day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.